it's Amélie. Today we're going to do an exercise to work on our dynamics on the flute. We will use a long tone exercise, but we will repeat each part twice. So once forte and once piano. Intonation might be an issue if you just play without thinking about it. So you play loud and soft. I'll give an example. So we can hear that when I play piano, it's flat, it's flat compared to when I play forte. I will use the angle of the air to control the intonation. When I play loud, I will send the air a little bit lower and when I play soft, a little bit higher. You can hear that when I play piano, it's too flat compared to when I play forte. So in order to correct that intonation problem, I will send the air a little bit lower when I play forte and a little bit higher when I play piano. That can be done in different ways. You can change the angle a little bit with your head, or, but you can also use your jaw. I've heard a lot of teachers saying not to use your head to change the angle. Um, for me, as long as the result is still good and the sound is good, really whatever works best for you. But you can use, you know, different muscles to change the intonation. And we have a video, two videos about intonation that you can watch. So I will do the exercise again. I will use a tuner to help me. If you don't have a tuner, it's okay. Just make sure you listen and you try to repeat exactly the same intonation, even if it's not exact, you know, as, as similar as possible. And um, so I will do the long tone exercise. So B, B flat, and then I repeat B, B flat piano. Then I go B flat A and I repeat it piano. Then A, A flat and I repeat it piano. So I do everything twice. And you can play along if you feel like it.
Now I will do the third octave. So I will go, I will do B, C, and then B, C again, and then C, C sharp, C, C sharp again, and so on and so on, until the high B, um, high C. Of course, it's way more difficult in the third register, in the third octave, but it's a work in progress, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's meant to uh, it's an exercise, just meant to get better and better at it. Of course, you will feel your belly muscles work to push the air, especially at the end of your piano notes, because if you don't push enough um, and you don't get enough air speed. The intonation is going to go down and so focus on the air and pushing the air in a very constant way and it should be helpful it's a very good exercise for working on the dynamics so i hope this exercise was helpful and is going to be helpful for a long time you can practice it for years and years and um, if you like the video please like it if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and thanks for watching mm -hmm.